For the best water deals in town, your local needs. Fill up your 18.9 liter for the low price of only $2 or your 4 liter for only 50 cents. Pure Aqua Valley Water. Yeah, yeah. Well, first off, I mean, it was definitely disappointing for us to lose our the end of our season in playoffs. And we're all really excited to get going with our league tournament and NCAAs and all that. Um, but yeah, then everything pretty much just shut down for us like it did. It seemed like the rest of the world. So I think we all understood there's bigger things than hockey, and this is going to be one of them. So really, once I got home, I just tried to hunker down for a bit, uh, take a week or two off and get healthy again. And then uh, once, uh, once restrictions started getting lifted, I was really anxious to get back in the gym and back on the ice. It was a really fun year. Um, like I said, I think we were disappointed to lose the end because there was so much emphasis on us for having a good playoffs and being able to show well in the NCAAs. So that was really disappointing for everybody, myself included. But uh, I think looking back on it, I'm hoping that that's not what our team's going to be remembered for. We'll be remembered for uh, putting together a lot of wins, uh, competing every night. And, and like I said, uh, I think we would have had a good run there at the end. So um, it was disappointing, but a lot of fun overall. Yeah, honestly, I mean, I think that's usually a decision that comes right after the season for a lot of guys, but this has kind of thrown a big wrinkle in it. So, um, yeah, I've had some time to think about it a little bit. I haven't made a decision one way or the other. I'm just going to kind of wait to see what the future holds on both sides. I mean, nobody really knows when hockey's going to come back at any level. So right now it's just kind of a waiting game. And like I said, I'm just trying to enjoy some time with my family and, and be at rest. Yeah, definitely a little bit slower path than like I think a lot of people take. I know um, a lot of guys are ready to jump into major junior at 16 and 17 years old, but I wasn't ready to do that. So I played two years in midget, and then I had the opportunity to attend St. Andrews College uh, and compete at the prep level, which was an awesome step for me. Um, and then once I got the opportunity to attend Cornell, I was really excited about it. I think I had to be able to go to a program that I knew was going to be successful on the ice and also work towards a great education. Uh, I was really excited to be able to do that. So. Uh, I, I don't know, I've just kind of tried to keep my head down and keep working along the way. And Definitely a little bit weird. Um, I know when we first got in the car, me and my brother seemed like there was a little bit less space than normal uh, just because we had all the gear on. But no, like I said, we were all really excited to get back on the ice. I think it's been a long couple of weeks for everybody sitting at home. So to be able to have the rinks open and uh, get back on the ice and do it safely, uh, it's been awesome. And just fun to be able to bump into the guys again and, and talk with them and, and hang out and get, get some good exercise.